first stage of the project was trying to find out what young people know about sexuality. So what we did was we gave groups of young people cameras and they took photographs of where they got their sexual knowledge from. And the researchers on the team interviewed them about why they were taking that photograph, where they got that sexual knowledge from, what they were learning from. Because the problem of HIV AIDS, in our view, is largely a problem that's social and cultural. The UN and other writers have described education as a social vaccine. And although there are programs for HIV AIDS education, we know that those programs don't get taught because of taboos about children and adults talking about sex. What came back was that, especially for young people living in quite poor contexts, sex was a part of their everyday life. That in some cases, the lack of information they were getting, they were filling with things like pornography. We were seeing that their worlds are sexualized, they know about sex, they see sex everywhere. They need support in dealing with that. Schools are seen as very important sites by the community and young people for this form of education. And particularly for young people, teachers and schools are seen as very important sources of useful and reliable information. We've developed a toolkit which is about consulting pupils on their sexual knowledge. Teachers have found it very, very useful and it is aimed at teachers. It's aimed at helping teachers to consult young people in the classroom and so on. Religious traditions, secular traditions, cultural traditions, all of these things can mean that many adults want to do something or see the need for it, but are actually quite apprehensive about starting it. The thing that we hadn't anticipated, unintended outcome really, is that our research became a catalyst for that. And we could be blamed. We have a wonderful quote from one of the stakeholders who begins by saying, why are we using these Western ideas in Africa, but who ends up being quite grateful for the fact that we started a process which we leave them to control. You know, each local community controls its own dialogue, but we started it. And so there was a view that we were giving some permission, really. One of the problems with sex education is adults tend to think that giving young people information will make them promiscuous and that young people are innocent and we should keep them innocent. And we, in many ways, wanted to explode that myth to show that young people do know a lot and that actually they're quite responsible because they want more information so they can make good and better choices.